Good morning, you lovely lot, and we are back again. So we've just done another Tolaris thing, one of our little Concept MX kits. Couldn't get me words out then. As you can see, beautiful little bike. Road legal, this one. This video is going to be short and sweet, but I keep getting asked on how to get the seats off of these Tolaris things. So I figured I might as well get some content, make a video about it, and hopefully make it a little bit easier for you guys that are doing your stuff on your own bikes. So basically, what you got to do, you got to pop the battery up. You've got to take these three bolts out, but before you do that, you need to take the battery out and unplug the rear light, which oh, I'm just going to set the camera up a little bit better and we'll show you. A little bit close, but that's the best I can do. So as I was saying, battery comes out. And then inside here, tucked away, you've got a load of wiring covered in a little plastic sheathing. And what you do is, if I can get it out, is you unplug the rear light. Which as you can see, when you're doing it with one hand, it's a little bit difficult. So anyway, inside here, there's a plug. Unplug it, takes out the towel lights. It's the bigger one of the two because it's the road legal one. So you've got your indicators and your, uh, your light unit. On the standard one, you've got a little two pin one. So I'll get them out of the way. So, big plug, disconnected. Indicator wires, disconnected. So now your seat unit will be good to take off. So as I was saying, these three, so six in total, we'll undo them, we'll flip her off. So a quick tip, which will save you, is if you're using impact guns, don't be one of these that uses the impact gun straight off to zip them out. You stretch the holes, you round them off, it cause your whole world of bother. So crack them off with your ratchet, then flip over to your gun. Same when doing them up, nip them up with your gun, very gently set them one, and then finish them off with the ratchet. Yeah, Sounds like a simple thing to do, but the amount of times I am, um, your customers come in with random bolts, you won't believe it. Once I nipped off, we can use your old gun. Just makes things a little bit quicker. Hold on. So this being the road legal one, you gotta take all this cover off, cut the bolts under there. And with the off-road ones, you gotta cut the 10mm nuts there, four screws underneath this, make sure you keep the, the little rubber washers in there, well plastic washers, sorry, and don't lose them. Underneath this, you gotta cut the more bolts, and then you're good to go, the seat's off. And you literally just repeat the process to refit. Um, we take them off when we're fitting these stickers, even though, to be fair, it's a lot of work just to fit one sticker each side. But this one's having a seat cover anyway, so it'll be fully stitched. Um, got a little pad going on there as well with our details on. When they turn up, we're, um, I'll add that to the video and 
yeah, you'll see that as well. So, I hope this was useful. Like I say, quick video today. Um, but yeah, hopefully it helps someone out. And sometimes you get the uh, the factories that round things off. So we tried getting this one out, but the head's rounded off. So I had to drill her out, which ends allowing us, <coughs> oh, I need to clear my throat. That'll then allow us to um, get this panel up. And then under there, you see you've got two 10 mil nuts. You need to undo those. Then that whole back end will come off. Then we undo two, two, and there's two under there that will like, allow the seat to come off. So it's no straight and forward, um, but it just shows you even from new, can't we stand out, even from new, the factory round them off. Um, they're making them in mass, so you come across it sometimes. But it's what it is. We'll get it done, get it sorted, and we'll be moving on. So that's all the bolts undone. So this wiring sits down underneath here goes down underneath the plastic cover which is on there so we whip that off four screws that's the two bolt holes there the 10 mils from the bottom of the seat and then this old girl will come off we're leaving this off because the seat's getting sent away for the seat cover that's your subframe I'm gonna stick the stickers on there because the seat's getting sent off we need to um, undo those, get the rear mud guard off. But yeah, other than that, that is a stripped down seat. There's a little bit more involved with the road legal, but it's only about another four or five bolts. Um, so it's nothing too major. And always make sure when leaving it, bag your nuts and bolts up, people. Make sure they go in the same, with the seat, put them in the seat bag. Common sense. But a lot of people just shove them all into one bucket and then when you go to put it all back together you don't know where anything goes this was useful like i say quick video today um but yeah hopefully it helps someone out